Hello there, everyone. Welcome back. I am Bongmod. We are playing more The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel, where apparently Crow is C, and I am unsure on this one. Madness. No one would stake their entire plan on such a precarious stunt. Yeah, that... Those plans have had a whole lot of fail points. But that, yeah, the mine especially had massive fail points. Mm. Perhaps we can read the evidence that way, but there are a few leaps in logic that bother me. Thank you, Laura. Besides, remember when the terrorists escaped from Gorelia Fortress? We heard C talking to us. And not just then. He was addressing us just before the airship exploded in the mine, too. That's true, on both counts. Mm. And Crow was with us the whole time during everything that went down in Gorelia. He never left our sight. Yeah. Right. No mistaking it. My name is Seath, leader of the Imperial Liberation Front. Ah, there are holes. I was just saying at the end of the last um, episode that I was unconvinced about this C and Crow being the same person. Uh, there's some definite elements that were leaving some holes in my whole consideration. The Gorelia Fortress thing. As they're now mentioning, he never left their side, and if he had betrayed them then, they could have kept one of the guns under control. All it would have taken one shot, and that would have killed the Chancellor at, at Crossbell. The hammer of judgment shall fall again. I'm ready. Are you? Yeah, there's no way he could be... He could have recorded a message in advance and played it back. Yeah. Hey, he could be a robot clone too, Instructor Sarah. But I mean, eh. Oh. And the airship that exploded? It could have been controlled remotely. His alibi seems airtight. But once you account for things like that, it starts looking pretty questionable. No, it doesn't. It, it seems as, I mean, without more to go on. Like, without some actual, ex uh, some more backing reason why it would be him, uh, there isn't, it's not that questionable what he did. I mean, big massive fight with the group. He has to escape. He, he had to retreat, get his old clothes, change, run, er, encounter the RMP who's been trying to get inside the whole while. Yeah, there's a lot of fail points in that plan. I mean, yeah. He could have gotten very lucky. But the fact but the luck factor works in his favor to make it think it's not him. Yep. And if C's still alive, that means the other ringleaders probably are too. Didn't you find the bodies? I thought the paper said you found the bodies. Then right now, Crow is Oh no. He said he was headed to Draco's Plaza, didn't he? If a skilled sniper has their eye on you. You let your guard down for even a second and bang, you're dead. If he's the one who shot down the airship in the mine... That seems even less likely. So we'd have to fight them, right? Escape during the flashbang. Get to an upper vantage point. Take the shot. And within moments of taking the shot, run back to the group. <sighs> then it's checkmate for the Chancellor. Crow's already won. Uh, okay. Like, I'll be honest. I think the game is actually... Tr is, it has settled on... This is... Yeah, cr it is Crow. Um... I don't feel it was set up enough. I don't have to go back and rewatch that. In such tumultuous times, we must set aside our differences. We must look past the ideologies that divide us. I will not deny the rift that has grown between the reformist and noble factions, especially in recent times. But how childish! 
How insignificant such squabbles seem when the enemy marshals its strength beyond our borders. I have met with His Majesty the Emperor and have secured permission to embark on the course we now must. Thus, in the name of the Emperor and as the representative of the Imperial Government, I hereby proclaim I know this is a serious moment, but that sniper scope looks like a giant eyeball on it. To deliver unto Crossbell a swift response to their impudence and to form a bulwark against the threat from the east. Go finish your speech in hell. Well, that's... Uh, I'm impressed you're still standing, Chancellor. Well played, Armbrust. And that is the end of him. And I guess Crow turning out to be... See you the whole while is the well, that was anticlimactic. Is, is is a revelation on par with what happened with uh, Professor Alba. And, and there's our coup de grace, George Wiseman. Now just have to add the finishing touches. Hands in the air. It really was you all along. To think, all the time we spent searching for the leader of the Imperial Liberation Front, and he was right under our noses. Uh, there's a lot of background scheming he'd have to do. A lot of element stuff that would have been, especially setting up all the stuff. Uh, he'd have to set all. He would have been setting all that up while he was with. This first year at the school. Mm. Crow Armbrust from the Jirai SEZ. Oh, and here I thought I'd managed to cover my tracks like a real pro. Well, they never really explained why they thought it was you. So, who put all the pieces together? I bet it was Arundel, wasn't it? We just received confirmation a short while ago. If you hadn't been so difficult to pin down, we would have had this investigation finished up already. How could you? How could you? You know, this really brings back the memories. It's a lot like when Jirai was annexed by the Empire eight years ago. You let your guard down, you lose. That's how your boss's favorite little game works, isn't it? Well... He lost, and now he won't be playing any of his games again, ever. Well, the motivation fits. Y you. you. I mean, we know the chancellor wasn't all love and kisses, and things happened when he uh, acquired those other territories. Get on the ground. I don't know how you managed to plan all of this. But you'll tell us eventually. I don't know how we'll he did that either. That. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. What? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, we've just witnessed a shocking turn of events. Chancellor Osborne has been shot by an unknown assailant. He's currently being rushed into urgent. 
Sergeant Care. We'll bring you more on the situation as it develops. Man, assume that gun was like the one that took out that airship. Yeah, he's not getting up. Or he shouldn't be getting up. What is that? Looked like it it just like put a nice big hole through his heart. Just a nice big, you know, fist size hole through his chest. It's coming closer. Oh? Huh? It looks like we may not be out of the woods yet, folks. A large silver craft has been sighted in the sky to the south, and it seems to be headed toward the capital. But hearing a radio broadcast just isn't the same as seeing it unfold yourselves, is it? What? So how about I give you Thor students a special treat? Just my way of saying thanks for the fun I had at the festival. Okay. Didn't anticipate this twist. Wait, what's she talking about? Was... Was she speaking directly to us just now? Oh, yes, she was. She has to be. Resound, resound, O oh, voice everlasting! Rend night's silent veil and reveal unto all the beautiful world! What the? She's a witch! Isn't that the plaza in Heimdall? This is one of the Azure Abyss's incantations, Phantasmagoria. The the whom? Magic witch bird. You know, I thought the game was ending, but uh, I'm not sure anymore. And, whoa, hello. For the R class aerial battleship. N the Noble Alliance Forces flagship Pantagruel. What? Wait, it, are the nobility going for a coup? just kept on going I don't know what's going on anymore everything I thought I knew has turned out to be wrong first chamber division the Heimdall garrison what is that thing I know but it ain't one of ours it's time to avenge his excellency
this has to be Ouroboros has to be behind some of this. This is a very this is a stronger well this is a stronger hand than they normally play. But this sort of technological jump, I can't see the nobility having pulled off on their own. There's there's backing involved. What what are those things? Humanoid combat armors, courtesy of Reinford's Fifth Development Division, staunch supporters of the Noble Alliance. I'm... Knights for the modern age, modeled after a stunning historical example and made of hardened steel from toe to crown. Uh, though I suppose they did talk about how all that there was like enough iron missing to make like a hot, uh, like a that was it a hundred a thousand tanks or something. We call them the Panzer Soldats. But how did? Don't move. You should have just shoot him, Claire. Sorry, I don't take orders from you. Zephyr should be able to secure Valflame Palace just fine on their own. But I've got my own score to settle. You just killed him. No. What? <laughs> See ya, Icy Maiden. Yeah, the fact that Misty is playing into all this makes me... It really does make me suspect. Uh, Ouroboros is behind some elements here. Because we knew they had plans in this region. Man, that was a bit of a letdown, huh? I'll give him an A for effort. But we're talking about the Imperial Capital here? <laughs> is that the best they could muster on their home turf? Man, who would have expected... I mean, fair, I mean... The hard part's still ahead. Uh, aren't those... Oh, yeah, those are the, uh, the guys who are with the... Um, uh, the special bodyguards we saw in Legram. But to be fair, a surprise ambush um, by a apparently vastly technologically superior force can't have that impact. Most of the Imperial Army's putting out fires across the country. But they'll be back soon enough now. And who knows? They might have some anti soldats countermeasures up their sleeves. <laughs> hey, anything can happen. Guess the ones to watch out for are the 3rd, 4th, and 7th Armored Divisions, huh? I wonder whose side our little princess will take. That's for Fee to decide. The boss would have wanted it. Are they with... Yeah, they would have been... They said Zephyr. Uh. <laughs> Misty, are you with Ouroboros? Yeah, I've been talking a lot about Ouroboros, but they haven't actually Splendidly made... Done, Grianos. They haven't actually made much of a definite presence, so I may just be doing this, I, I realize now, entirely on the basis of the prior games. I see you were able to share the sweetest notes of my aria with our little friends. Oh, well... Then again. I find myself reminded afresh of the brilliance with which you shine as the second Anguis. Wait, 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 hold on a moment. Now, it's been a little while, but Anguis is... So there's, if I recall the structure of the of Robros, there's the Grand Master, and then there's the Anguis. So she outranks Blue Blanc, who's just an enforcer, I think. She, yeah, she's like... Wow. <laughs> if she is a second Angius. Lady Vida Clotilde. 
Vast is the stage, and beauty is the performance of the Azure Abyss. <laughs> That's quite the compliment, considering your standards on beauty. Still, first the Burl, then Crossbell, and now here in Erebonia. Oh, this has they ha yes. So it is. Oh, 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 oh Robros, you are cunning. Don't you think you're getting a little too greedy for your own good? Oh. Your chastisement cuts deep. We'll be proceeding with the next step of the Phantasmal Blaze plan, I presume? Oh, I was right. The Robos is behind a lot of the scheming. I knew that they, uh, the, uh, that the, uh, no the noble faction managing this on their own was a bit hard to swallow. Hmm. Yes, <coughs> indeed. The bells are tolling for Crossbell, and preparations here are complete. Still... Even this grand an undertaking is but a jewel in a greater crown. The second stage of the Orpheus final plan. Mm. And I still have no idea what Ouroboros is really after. The symphony awaits us. Let the second movement commence. They did a bunch of stuff in... in like, even after everything that went down in Liberal, you got the, kind of the feeling... That wasn't really a failure. And that they're after something bigger. Hard to even conceive of. Still, a uh, an epic little little uh, finale there. That was uh Is this really happening? It is. I'm certain of it. Phantasmagoria is an arcane art known to the Witch of the Abyss, capable of showing scenes and visions across great distances. And I don't want to say I told you so, but she's a witch! The woman you know as Misty is something of a sister of mine. Because you're a witch! Wait, the Witch of the Abyss? Are you saying that's who Misty really is? I feel like any moment I'm going to wake up in my bed to find I just dreamt all this. <laughs> I don't blame you, Laura. If only it was. But we have no choice but to accept that it's real. Well, we'll have plenty of time to worry about that later. Right now we've got two more pressing concerns. The Chancellor's been shot and Heimdall's been occupied. Oh no! I hope my father's all right. Damn! Please let Saint Astria be safe. Should be. I mean, I'm not sure what the nobility is really up to here. That gargantuan airship, those Panzer soldats. I have no doubts that they were bankrolled and manufactured by the noble faction. I agree. Especially since when they showed up, we kind of got little blurb saying it. I saw them there. My old family. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All this time, I never knew what happened to them. And how there they are. Oh! Oh, oh that's even worse. In, um, in, the, in the scene where you can go dancing with... Um, with Fee, she goes on with, oh, I wish I could see my family again. Oh, a dagger in her heart. Fee. Eh, guess it's better, not a hole. better than a hole through your chest, eh, Chancellor? So you know those men? I remember meeting them briefly in the Grim. They're former members of Zephyr. Used to be one of the continent's strongest Jaeger corps. It looks like the noble faction hired them to do their dirty work. Just like the Imperial Liberation Front. On top of that... It looks like our guess about C's identity was right on the money. But I don't know what that cool blue thing was he flew off in. Yeah, that's a little new. Bro, why did you do it? On behalf of the Student Council, I'd like to ask all of you to remain calm. A little late! I'm sure you all experienced that strange vision during the broadcast. And the principal has an announcement he'd like to make about it. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Principal Van Dyke speaking. I'm sorry to say there's a strong likelihood that what you just saw 
is really happening in Heimdall. However, it's important to note that we don't yet have confirmation or any official word on the situation. I'm doing all I can to find out what's going on, but in the meantime, I ask for your patience and understanding. So all the other classes saw it too. How could she use a national radio broadcast to show something to just us and no one else? Is that even possible? She's a witch, Reen! For her, it is. With little difficulty at that. Hello? Oh, Sarah here. Who's... Nightheart? An emergency meeting. Right away? What? Mm -hmm. Of course. I'll be right there. Yeah, understood. I'll meet you in front of the main gate. All right, class. I've got to step out for a bit to take care of some business. But no matter what happens, you are not to leave this building. Is that clear? Come on, Sarah. We're meddling kids. Meddling kids. Meddling kids. What's going on? I'm not sure, but it's obvious something strange is happening. Can this day even get stranger than it already is? What's wrong, guys? I hear something to the west, and it's getting closer. Several armored cars are approaching, and it sounds like they have some of those armored suits with them. You've got to be kidding. First Heimdall, now Trista? Are they planning on taking over the Academy? Hmm, sure looks that way. Notable members from both factions have kids enrolled here, and there are plenty of important people like the Principal. So either they're looking to preemptively protect their own, or take the others hostage. Could be either, even both. This is absurd. Whatever their intentions, we can't allow them to harm innocent people. Do you think that's where the instructors went? To try and fight them off? Those giant armors tore through the army's tanks like they were nothing more than toys. Our instructors are strong, but with what they're up against, I'm worried they might not be enough. I'm not sure how much help we'd be, or if we'll even be able to put a dent in them. <gasps> but wait a minute, Reen. Reen? Reen? Haha. <laughs> Hold on a moment. I want you to think about where you could get your hands on your own mech of murder but right now they need all the support they can get they need class seven i'm with you you have my sword i didn't really wake up today planning to fight enemies that can gut a tank none of us did but this battle came to us, so we'll draw the line here. I'll do everything I can to defend this school and its students. Duh. I take no issue with humbling those that befoul the spirit of true nobility. Guess I'll help too. <laughs> I wonder how Lamy will match up against those giants. We haven't got a lot of time, so let's move out. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Ferris? You're still here? We, we knew that. What in Adios' name is going on here? I saw the instructors leaving the academy through the front gate. Oh, they already left? Patrick, you have to stay here. You can't let them take over this building. Work with the other students as best you can. Schwarza? All right, well, we're gonna have to take a break um, as soon as I get the opportunity. What an idiot's name is going on! So we'll take a break here, and I guess uh, the game isn't over. And here I thought things were gonna nicely quietly wind down, but no, nope. epic finale. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you soon for more. Stay tuned. <laughs>